Your Excellency, two things. One about your past and another in the future. For the future, Nigeria is still hovering around 5.3% annual health budget. 2023, 5.3%. Despite the fact that the Abuja Declaration of 20, 2001 was hosted by Nigeria, how will you improve healthcare financing? Where will you get the money from? Related to that is access to health. You are partisan representatives to our US, US means Universal Health Coverage Day celebration. Two people came to represent you and your party. And we gave them, they gave us the award about improving access so that Nigerians have health promptly when they need it without incurring financial hardship. Today, insurance coverage since 2005 is still less than 7%. What else are you going to do to improve this coverage? Finally, about something that happened in about 2013. Uh, Medical past, and health past, workers were on, yes. Medical health workers were on strike for 13 months in Anambra State while you superintended as governor. People are finding it difficult to trust you again. Why, what are you going to do to avoid that situation? And why would you have allowed health workers to go on strike, be on strike for 13 months? Thank you. Thank you very much. That's a very, very good question. I thought you would have said what happened between me and them and how it ended. But let me explain it so that Nigerians will know. Good. They were not the only people who went on strike. The second, the teachers in NUT went on strike for, the, for a long time too. When we came in, things were not working in the health sector. I didn't have one single school of nursing school of midwifery or health technology that was accredited none of our hospitals as you know was accredited we didn't have one single ambulance i want you to step on this so i decided we're going to buy 30 ambulances one per local government then the, the six to over around other places. We're going to invest in it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. We invested the money for two years. No result. What do you want me to do? So I decided, okay, I'm going to partner. Since I know as a, as a young man, Iyenu, which is owned by the Church of Nigeria, produced the first midwife in Nigeria. It's not a God. So I said, go and call me the bishop. I want to this year give this money to a bishop since my own didn't work. Let the bishop resuscitate the school of nursing in Yenu, school of midwifery in Yenu, school of this, and in Yenu Hospital. I called the, the uh, Borromeo Hospital, owned by Cali Church. I want to give you money to go and see all those schools today. In fact, yesterday we were in a uh, in Oshobo, a young girl came and said he graduated from Amich School of Nursing. I showed you, he brought the girl. He said, it was me who made it possible because I built that school from scratch with the Anglican, with the Church of Nigerian Bishop of Amich. I invested the money through this money. It didn't work. I invested it Then they started striking and said, I'm not spending the money. I'm using government money I'm not going to the financial guideline. I said, which guideline? I put my money in the guideline he missed. So I put it to where they threw out the other way, and it worked. So where, how can we? Today, we settled. I paid them for now. But to even tell you what happened, who is my commissioner for health, Ikako? He was one of the striking doctors. He said, no, he cannot strike, that I'm right. I went to the hospital where he was working. I said, this is your, you refuse to go and strike your commissioner. That's how he became commissioner. He said he wouldn't be, but he ran away. I said, okay, your commissioner, you who is striking. That is how we're going to get people. I did not. Me and them settled. I don't want to tell you what happened. How are we going to deal with the future? 
We have a country called Indonesia. There are 265 million people. They are providing health through insurance where poor people are paying little or nothing. The rich people are paying more. That is happening in India where they have 1.4 billion people. The same insurance. We will do it here. We must provide the budget today for health and education is low. Forget this year's budget that was 1.5 trillion. The six year budget for health and you know between 2015 and 2021 is not up to 2.5 trillion. That is unacceptable for a country of 200, 200 million people. Just like what we did in education. This is unacceptable. We are going to ensure that insurance work, and I'm going to provide health, education, and pulling people out of poverty will take top priority. We are going to do it rightly, but we are going to do it where it works. Just like I told you in health, it happened to us in education. First year, we are number 26 in Waeka Neko. Second year, we are number 27 in Waeka Neko. And you want me to contribute money? I put the same money to the same channel. In four years, we became number one. That's where to work. If we take go, if we come into office here, we will try to do things in a way that Nigerians will see that their money is transparently applied, and they will see the result. I will make sure that I, as number one person, I am. He has a hospital. Which a big hospital in his university. We have university hospitals. I went to a university in um, Ekiti. Afebola University. If you see the hospital there, if it means putting money in private ones, I'll put money there. But all of us must be treated here.